Hello and welcome to Morgan's Miles. Well, I'm really excited because this morning we are off to Rustival. I've been waiting for this event for a, a, ever since I first heard Matt and Ian and Steph announce it. it sounds brilliant. Um, it's basically, it's a come as you are a car event with basically anything goes, any car is, uh, is appropriate, any vehicle is appropriate. So hopefully there's going to be all manner of different stuff there. Um, so um, in a moment, we are setting off in uh, my 1976 Hillman Imp, Peli. Um, my wife's going to be driving that. And I am going to be driving my 1998 uh, Ford Mondeo, the ex-Furious driving uh, Matt Richardson car. Um, and we're going to be going cross country um, because... Uh, the temporary engine that's in Pelly at the moment is, mm, it's a bit of an unknown quantity. There's some, um, mm, yeah, it, it, hoping it's going to get there. Um, it's because it would be a bit of a bummer if it doesn't really. But uh, let's see where we get to and uh, let's go. Well, I listened back to the footage um, that came off the camera and it was, in a word, rubbish. Um, the uh, problem was that I was trying to react in real time to each one of the cars as I saw them, like this gorgeous TWR uh, XJS. The problem was that um, there were so many other things going on and I was talking to other people as well as trying to do the cameraman bit and so I found that a lot of what I was talking was utter drivel. So I decided when I got back home, I would delete all of the audio footage. And uh, so I've just left you with the visuals. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some background music on. Uh, I wish I could use the vision on music from uh from back in the day because that would have been really really good you know the tony art music um anyway uh oh, fabulous volvo 66 that i absolutely loved that thing um so yeah apologies for the background music because i know it isn't universally liked but genuinely if you'd heard my rubbish that i'd spoken i think i'd lose all my subscribers so enjoy the music and uh i'll uh pick up with you at the end Oh, if there's anything interesting along the way, I might interject, but then again, I might not.
Now this car here is truly astonishing. It is a GSA van. I didn't know such a thing existed and wow, just wow. Now before I get any comments about it, yes I know that some of the camera angles in this are um, sub-optimal. Um, yeah, this is a learning experience for me and uh, yes, I need to concentrate more on keeping the camera up a bit. So yeah, apologies to anyone's cars that I've managed to cut the roof off because that wasn't really my intention at all. I was too busy enjoying them at the same time as holding the gimbal in my hand and uh, yeah, I, yeah, excuses, sorry.
Now, this uh, TR2 was car of the show for me. Um, yes, that's gaffer tape on the seats. Uh, yes, it is utterly filthy. Yes, it is battered. Yes, it is patinated beyond belief. It is utterly gorgeous. I take my hat off to the owner of this car. This car is just wonderful. It's the epitome of a car that is just enjoyed for being what it is. And sir, I salute you. And this is actually quite an interesting car. It's a Millennium Edition uh, Mark 1 Focus. Amazing looking in yellow. They just look so cool. Now this Chrysler um, was so huge, I think it actually should have had its own postcode. I think this must have been the uh, inspiration for the B-52's thing about, uh, uh, I got me a Chrysler, it seats about 20. Yeah, it's uh, enormous. <laughs> Little known fact, um, our wedding car, me and Mrs M, was a Citroen DS, like this, in black. It was owned by a fantastic chap called uh, Stuart Ager, who did the driving on the day. I haven't seen him since that wedding, and that was over 20 years ago now, so uh, if you know Stuart, give him a shout, put him in my direction, please.
Now, this uh, Morris Marina was breathtaking. Um, I don't think they looked this good when they were new. I certainly don't remember them ever looking this nice. Um, absolutely fantastic colour. Is it Triton Green? I think it was called back in the day. Somebody's bound to correct me. But my goodness. Uh, hats off to you. That is straighter than a straight thing with an extra helping and straight source. Really, really lovely car. This was uh, Mayfair parking at the top of the hill and um, this was actually very early in the day this was probably about well, probably about half past ten I suppose in the morning and it just kept filling up and filling up and filling up and filling up so if I didn't capture your car and you were in Mayfair parking I'm ever so sorry um, and it looks like there's lots of uh, empty spaces these all filled up by the end of the day yeah good turnout Now this machine is utterly bonkers, incredible, and uh, sir, you have my doffed hat uh, once again. Uh, this is, believe it or not, a Reliant Robin with the body removed. Uh, the guy uses it for trialling, and very successfully. It, it looked like quite a piece of kit. You'll note me to a double take here, and that's because the car that I've just walked past is a Citroen Visa GTI. Yes, indeed, one of those. Ever so rare.
I know somebody that needs this sticker desperately. Wow, I'm knackered. <laughs> We've just got back. Um, yeah, again, cross country it from Gaydon to Northamptonshire. Uh, really lovely drive. We've been so lucky with the weather. The weather's been brilliant. We had a couple of tiny little showers that were nothing to really worry about. Um, and oh my goodness, what a day! Um, what a vibe, superb organisation. I can't even begin to um, express quite how wonderful the organisation was. Um, the, the marshals were brilliant. I have never been so quick getting into a, a, a big car event like this. Normally you get to, um, you know, you, you get stuck in a, a, a a queue and you sit there for ages and ages and ages thinking oh god i hope the cooking system doesn't do itself in while i'm sat here because that'd be really embarrassing but no i mean literally it was sort of from the moment we arrived to the moment switched the engine off was minutes you know it was wonderful the um all the marshals were brilliant all day um big shout out to my old friend danny hopkins who was brilliant on stage all day um some really really interesting uh discussions on the uh on the transit stage it was a stage made out of a mark one transit i mean yeah that that gets me excited as well um my i, I took my son who had just the best day ever because he met some of his internet heroes um and big shout out to uh ian carly matt and Steph for being so lovely um, with um, 
uh, with him coming up to them and asking for a signature or just saying hello, etc. And you, I, you guys must have been flat out busy, um, but you were just so lovely to him. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Also, a big shout out to uh, Pete, minus Pete and his bus, uh, who was great with Ben as well. So, um, I'm yeah, it was just such a great vibe, and it's going to take me ages to go through the footage. Um, I imagine I had great hopes for the footage. Um, at the point of recording this, I haven't seen how good or bad it was. Um, I'm, I've decided that halfway through filming it that I was going to do the uh, a voiceover when I got home because I was too busy either chatting to somebody that was walking beside me or uh, saying hello to people or just yeah it's so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um edit it into something that looks halfway as reasonable hopefully i had the camera at the right angle as well because uh i was too busy enjoying myself and not thinking about being youtube man it's not actually part of being in the moment but hey anyway i really hope you enjoyed um the uh the video um and next year i really hope i pray that um they uh do rust next year because it's just such a lovely chilled out vibe great cars some f absolutely phenomenal cars there um some things that i've i've not seen ever before a citroen gs it, van i didn't even know such a thing existed and that it's just parked there just somebody had chuffled in with it no truck well there's a couple of people turned up with very old cars on trailers but the vast majority of the cars arrived on their own four wheels which for me as somebody that really believes in using cars as opposed to sticking them on the trailer and just sort of roll rolling them into a show and then putting your you know plonking it in a nice field and polishing it and getting a little plastic pot to say that you've polished it well i'm not, I'm not into that this was a lot more real and um it, it was just lovely to see anyway i'm going to stop talking because as you can tell i'm a little bit sort of um enthused i hope you like what you see and uh if you do please like and subscribe it makes a massive difference to the channel and hopefully i will see you all in another video soon where we'll do, be doing something completely different and in fact, at this stage, I'm not even completely sure what that's going to be. But thanks for watching. Be seeing you.